The Oxford Joyce Knight was Mick Henry's brainchild and invention a very long time ago. But in it, for all the years that it uh, went on with such success and international recognition, really, um, it was um, everything was done by Mick. The whole organisation, um, getting the people together, um, organising the programme for the night. So as well as being the major performer and the most talented musician, he was also um, the, the creator of everything that happened in those evenings. Um, I was thinking about this um, when Mick died, as well as many other things about Mick, um, about how everything was down to him, really. And I was thinking about how, at the end of the evening, he was left to kind of to clear up the, the, the mess as it were, you know, to um, sort out everything and leave the venue um, ship shape. And uh, this poem, which was published in The Western People, um, was written about that, really. Winding up in memory of Mick Henry. We might choose to bring him back to mind on his high musician's stool, head held back to sing on a Coon or a Casey's Nora, where violets were scenting the woods. But I would recall him at the finish of the evening's music, winding up the tangled leads on his amplifiers, while the rest of us took to the streets out of the night that he had created, until the lights were off and he finally was free to pack up and make for home. If you're a man of noble fame, come tell to me what'll happen to self at the well below the valley, oh, green grows the lily, oh, light among the bushes, oh. You'll be seven long years are ringing the bell at the well below the valley, oh, green grows the lily, oh, light among the bushes, oh. You'll be seven long more are gone to hell at the well below the valley, oh, green grows the lily, oh. Light among the bushes, oh I'll be seven long years a ringing the bell But the Lord above will save me soul From going to hell at the well below the valley, oh Green grows the lily, 